welcome people now we want to look at the anti adrenergic drugs correct <clears throat> so far we have seen what and all cholinergic drugs anti cholinergic drugs adrenergic drugs now we want to look at anti adrenergic drugs so in that you can have alpha blockers or beta blockers everything sounds strange to you right <clears throat> wait see we are looking at the autonomic nervous system <clears throat> in that parasympathetic and sympathetic currently we are in the antisympathetic or the sympathetolytic drugs okay <clears throat> sympathetic sympathetic system basically fear fight flight or fright okay so the receptors are alpha or beta currently we are discussing antisympathetic or sympathetolytic drugs anti adrenergic drugs in that there could be alpha blockers or beta blockers currently we are discussing what alpha blockers now what happens if you block alpha let's see if alpha blockers are blocked sorry if alpha receptors are blocked or alpha action is blocked what will happen so better let us go to the receptor diagram and check <clears throat> So let us say alpha is blocked. The person can't have mitriasis. If alpha is blocked, there can be vasodilation. So there can be postural hypertension. Alpha is blocked. If alpha is blocked, urine sphincter sphincter cannot work so emptying of bladder <clears throat> uterus cannot contract wow so you understood everything right just by looking at the receptor locations you can know if alpha 1 is blocked what and all happens right even ejaculation erection could be affected like what happens if alpha 2 is blocked then there will be more insulin <clears throat> cuz alpha 2 less insulin you want to block alpha 2 so more insulin okay so is it clear like if we do alpha block what and all will happen in the system currently we are here we are looking at the alpha adrenergic blocking drugs Here, as you can see, we have non-equilibrium type and equilibrium type. Non-equilibrium type only one drug is there, phenoxybenzamine. Everything else is equilibrium type only. Competitive antagonists, yeah. So, just look at this phenoxybenzamine. It is used to treat pheochromocytoma. This is a tumor of the adrenal gland. So, in the adrenal medullary cells, there will be a tumor, and excess catecholamines will be secreted. Okay. because of which there'll be persistent hypertension to treat that they will give uh, phenoxybenzamine okay remember phenoxybenzamine can be given to give uh, to treat pheochromocytoma so alpha blockers are given to uh, treat pheochromocytoma then fentol amine let us come to the non selective alpha blockers then we'll go to alpha 1 uh, selective blockers alpha 2 selective blockers now first of all non selective blockers all the alpha stuff will be blocked example in that ergot alkyl you should know then you should know imidazoline like fentol amine these two you should know okay chlorpromazine is also a uh, chlorpromazine you have seen in antipsychotics correct one skin Yes, it is an antipsychotic, so it is also coming under an alpha non-selective alpha blocker. Okay, now these ergot alkaloids, alkaloids <coughs> like ergot amine, ergotoxine. Okay, all these. We are currently here, guys. Wake up if you are asleep. We are looking at ergot alkaloids. These are rare, we non-selective alpha blockers. In that ergot alkaloids, you have ergot amine, ergotoxine. These are like oxytocin. They stimulate uterus. Okay. they are like oxytocin remember i got alkaloids okay then moving on to fentol amine fentol amine is actually an antidote if there is a cheese reaction because of mao m a o a inhibitors because these are nothing but antidepressants if you give these m a o a inhibitors to treat, treat depression you gave this m a o a inhibitor then what happens there could be a cheese reaction because what these actually do you know these m a o a inhibitors look at this this diagram you look at 
here we are what happens this mao it metabolizes this monoamine oxidase metabolizes noradrenaline serotonin and tyramine because of less noradrenaline serotonin the person has become very depressed so they will give a inhibitor of this mao to the patient now what happens <clears throat> the maoa is inhibited so noradrenaline serotonin levels increase and the person becomes happy but the problem is this tyramine which was there this tyramine <clears throat> level also will increase this tyramine comes with things like uh, all these fatty food etc so when tyramine becomes more it is bad for the body there could be uh, two things you should know it there could be hypertensive crisis which could be fatal and there could be cerebrovascular accidents okay so because of these two hypertensive crisis and cerebrovascular accidents this cheese reaction is dangerous and the uh, the treatment here is phentolamine phentolamine is nothing but a non selective alpha blocker clear right so you saw how it got all linked to the depressants uh, uh, chapter so antidepressant when you give if you are giving maoa inhibitors remember the person can go into cheese reaction and the solution for that will be phentolamine phentolamine is actually a imidazoline and it is a non selective alpha blocker so you are uh, pretty aware that we are looking at the alpha adrenergic blocking drugs correct now we have finished this one phentolamine we have finished chlorpromazine is antipsychotic we are not going to details of that now then we will go to the selective ones in selectives you have alpha 1 selective and alpha 2 selective let us look at alpha 1 selective now alpha 1 selective um, blockers these are all ending with the osin osin so prazosin terazosin doxa zosin alfuzosin etc tamsulosin sidlodosin tamsulosin and all the name we have heard a lot so remember prazosin terazosin doxazosin tamsulosin four names you can remember for now say the names prazosin tamsulosin then terazosin doxazosin okay these are all alpha 1 blockers they block only alpha 1 then you have alpha 2 blocker alpha 2 blocker you have yohimbine okay about prazosin you should know that it has first dose effect first dose effect means because this is a alpha 1 blocker what happens there can be vasodilation correct because alpha 1 is responsible for vasoconstriction however alpha 1 block means there can be no vasoconstriction there be vasodilation if there is vasodilation what happens especially the arteries in this case they get more dilated than the veins and hence the person can have dizziness and he can faint this is postural hypotension this is first dose effect subsequently the person will learn about it and they will tolerate it but the first dose effect is more for prazosin so you should if they ask you in the exam first dose effect you should explain this prazosin first dose effect you remember this diagram right alpha 1 causes vasoconstriction and m3 causes vasodilation if alpha 1 is blocked then this vasoconstriction cannot happen so there will be vasodilation so when there is vasodilation there will be reduction in blood pressure and hence the person will have postural hypotension so as soon as he stands up he may faint or may he may feel dizzy when he takes this tablet so you should tell that person get up slowly okay if he you are giving him a alpha 1 blocker okay guys this uh, this classification is actually taken from the textbook uh, kb kd tripathi okay Tri uh, tripathi textbook textbook is the source for all this information now coming to terazosin and doxazosin now terazosin and doxazosin they are used actually to treat urinary retention okay so in benign prostate hypertrophy what happens the person prostate has enlarged so he is not able to void his bladder okay so what happens when you give terazosin and doxazosin the smooth muscles will relax wait you can see here alpha 1 is responsible for closing the sphincter right so now if you give this uh, alpha 1 block sphincter will open correct so there will be urinary outflow so if a person has benign benign prostate hypertrophy urinary obstructions that's things you can give this alpha 1 block it will only 
help the smooth muscles um, etc but there is no effect on the prostate size prostate size will be same only okay so let's go back there now so we are looking at alpha adrenergic blocking drugs we have finished almost everything so let's revise alpha 1 blocking drugs uh, you have uh, phenoxybenzamine which is used to treat treat pheochromocytoma other than that you should know non selective alpha 1 selective and alpha 2 selective non selective you should know ergot alkaloids phentolamine and chlorpromazine uh, ergot alkaloids are just like oxytocin they are uterine stimulants phentolamine is used to treat cheese reaction which is caused by uh, moclobemide that is maoa inhibitor one confusion is alpha 1 causes uterus contraction and here if you are blocking it then there should be no contraction of uterus then how it will stimulate the uterus and that solution is something like ergot alkaloids they are partial agonist and antagonist sometimes they are agonist antagonist in another place so what happens they will uh, in, uh, help in um, reducing postpartum hemorrhage that is after delivery and also they are used to treat migraine don't bother much about ergot alkaloids at this point okay so what else guys phentolamine cheese reaction uh, you can treat cheese reaction prazosin uh, terazosin doxazosin you can use to um, if there is a benign prostate hypertrophy and the person is not able to avoid the bladder you can give this remember uh, the side effects will be postural hypotension etc what will be the side effects of black blocking alpha all the side effects will be there postural hypotension then delay in ejaculation all those things will be there okay so what else to know here see tricyclic antidepressants now they also have alpha blocking effect so you should know that tricyclic antidepressants also have this kind of alpha block effect so guys summarizing we have looked at alpha blocking drugs non-selective alpha 1 selective block alpha 2 selective block non-selective block we have uh, mainly the uh, phentolamine which is used as a uh, treatment for cheese reaction then we have chlorpromazine used as antipsychotic all of them will have uh, alpha 1 block then you have uh, tricyclic antidepressants also will have alpha 1 block then you have uh, uh, alpha 1 selective block alpha 1 selective block will be prazosin terazosin doxazosin and tamsulosin these are used to uh, treat uh, urinary retention in hy benign hyper benign prostate hypertrophy then yohimbine is alpha 2 selective blocker not used much okay alpha 2 blocker not used much okay then you should know ben uh, pheno ben phenoxybenzamine is uh, used to treat pheochromocytoma that's all for now this much is enough guys come back to the next video hope you enjoyed this video bye bye next video we will look at beta blockers okay